Hello again and welcome to this lesson where we will be estimating thirds. Okay, so what is a third? Well, a third is a, a, a non-rational or let's say an irrational an irrational root. Okay, an irrational root. That's what a third is. So for example, the square root of 2 or the cube root of 10. Uh, any number that you know, you don't know what the square root of 2 is. There's no number that you know. When I multiply it by itself, it gives me 2. Or if I multiply it 3 times by itself, it gives me 10. Then usually that would be a third, an irrational root. Okay, when uh, what I mean by estimating thirds is when we are actually going to find the integers between which the third lies. That sentence construction um, sounds very odd. I think it's wrong, but basically what I mean is the square root of 2, um, if you use your calculator, you get an answer of 1, 4, let me just finish that sentence, 1, 4, 1, 4, 5, something, something. Okay, but basically we can see that the square root of 2, the square root of 2 is smaller than 2 itself. Okay, you can see, but it's bigger than 1. So this sign simply means that whatever is on this side is smaller than what's on that side. And that's true here. 1 is smaller than the square root of 2, and the square root of 2 is smaller than 2 itself. Okay, now this is what we're going to do. We're going to find a way of estimating between which two integers the third lies. And that would give us more or less an idea of how big the value of the third is. Now, in order to understand what we are doing, we just need to understand once again what a root means. If I take the square root of a number, let's say for example the number 2, basically what that means is I want to know what value, we don't know what the answer is, so let's say x, what number must be squared to give me the number 2. I want to find out what is this number that I have to square to give me 2. And that is then called the square root of 2. If I have something like this, okay, it's the same thing. What value must I cube to get an answer of 10? Okay. Now, as you can see, what is going to be important here is that we do know the common ones. In other words, um, what are the numbers that we, the, whose roots we, uh, um, are going to be rational roots? That's going to be important. And we find it by simply taking the squares of the numbers 1 to, let's say, 10. So, for example, we've got 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, then it's 25, 36, 49, 64, 81. All I'm doing is I'm taking the squares of the numbers 1, and I'm going to go up to about 15. Um, so 9 times 9 is 81, 10 times 10 is 100, 11 times 11, 121, then 144 is 12 times 12, 13 is 169, 14 squared is 196, and 15 squared is 225. Okay, now these, it would be good if you know these off by heart, and surely you do already, okay? But basically why I'm doing it is because how I'm going to find this not using a calculator is by starting with the number inside my square root. I've got the number 2 in this case. Then I'm going to find the first number in this sequence of, we call these the perfect squares. The perfect squares. Okay. I want the first perfect square that is smaller than 2. Well, 2 would fit in here. So the first one smaller than 2 is 1. And therefore 1 is smaller than 2, and 2 is smaller than, and now I use the next one, 4. And now basically what that means is if, if 
2 is smaller than 1, uh, sorry, larger than 1, it would mean that the square root of 2 will be larger than the square root of 1. Okay, in other words, the number that I have to multiply to get 1 would be smaller, uh, by itself to get 1, would be smaller than the number I have to multiply to get this, uh, to get, by itself to get 2. And the same goes here, the number, the square root of 4 will be larger than the square root of 2. And now all I need to do is actually simplify this. The square root of 1 is known, that's a 1. The square root of 2 is what I'm trying to estimate, and the square root of 4 is simply 2. And there we go, I found this without actually going to get the answer of 1 comma 4, 1, 4. And then you can just test yourself with a calculator afterwards, but usually these questions ask you to do it without a calculator. So let me do another example of just a random number. Let's go for the number 123, 1, 2, 3, okay? We'll do our steps. Find the two numbers that 123 falls between, and it would be in here, actually very close to that number. So we see that 123 is just slightly larger than 121 and it is smaller than and now again this side the right hand side must be a perfect square 144 okay if we now take the square root of it all so I'll take the square root of 121 is 11 is smaller than the square root of 123 square root of 123 that is the third I'm trying to determine I, I never wrote that down okay but we're trying to determine the estimate the integers between which these the the third lies okay and then this is smaller than the square root of 144 square root of 144 is 12 and there we go I've got the two thirds sorry the two um, integers between which this third lies. Square root of 123 and let's go test it. Okay, um, another thing I want to show you just here is you'll, you'll notice here that 123 is, is very close to 121 which will make me think that one uh, the square root of 123 would be very close to the square root of 121. Make sense? Well let's see. Use my calculator 123, the square root of that, it, oh, sorry, that's cube root. Uh, 123, the square root of that is 11.09. That's very close. That's uh, If I rounded to one decimal place, it would be 11.1. Okay, so we can see we're very close to the actual um, 11 because 123 is actually very close to this perfect square of 121. Okay, now um, what I want to show you is just an example of cube roots. Okay, the cube root, and obviously for perfect for for square roots we use perfect squares. For cube roots we will need the perfect cubes. That does not look like a proper cube, but I did try perfect cubes. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. 7 times 7 is 49. Times 7 is um, 343 I think 243 I lie. It's 243 okay um, 8 times 8 times 8 that would give me 258 I think I made a mistake somewhere okay I see here is my mistake this should be 7 times 7 times 7 is 343, 8 times 8 times 8 is 512, 6 times 6 times 6 is, um, okay, I don't remember that one, let's quickly see, 6, 6 cubed, 
cubed 216 oh no I'm not trying to do 6 cubed that is 8 9 cubed 9 cubed 729 729 and 10 cube is a thousand okay there we go that should be should be sufficient so let's think of any number okay we used one two three let's used uh, let's use two three four let's estimate if I took the cube root of 234 between which two integers will it lie well it should lie between the cube root of and the cube root of okay now we find the number between which 234 234 would fall in here 234 that would be smaller than uh, just larger than 216 and smaller than 343 okay and now we can just use these cube roots of these values 216 is the cube of the number 6 so the cube root of that would be 6 the cube root of 234 is what I'm trying to estimate so we keep that one the same and this one would be smaller than the cube root of 343 which is the cube of 7 okay and there we go we've estimated that the number 234 the cube root of that would be somewhere between 6 and 7 now let's see which one is it closer to 234 is about 17 units away from 216 okay but no sorry 18 units away and uh, it's it's more than a hundred units away from the next one okay so it's much closer to six than it is to seven so I'm going to estimate that it would be if I calculated with my calculator it would be closer to six than it is to seven let's see so I've got two three four the cube root of that is six point one six okay so I actually did estimate it correctly that it's closer to 6 than it is to 7. Well, um, that's about it for this lesson. I hope you found this uh, as simple as at least I think it is. But if you are having some trouble with it, let's uh, uh, have a look at the video again and hopefully it will make sense a second time around. Good luck!